Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you another video from the uh, from my lovely home office in the wonderful city of Jerusalem. And I wanted to do another video. I've done a video before on how to load a RavCav using one of these USB readers. If you're totally technically clueless and the idea of putting a your RavCav travel card into a reader gives you palpitations, do not fear. I have a video explaining exactly how to do it. Now, I know there's other ways of paying for public transport in Israel right now. For example, MoveIt somewhat recently integrated a feature that you can uh, present a, barco a QR code and scan it on the bus and it'll pay like that. Personally, um, I prefer the RavCav methodology. I'm not sure whether one works out cheaper than the other. But one thing you should know about using the RavCav if you're looking to use it for public transport in Israel and saving money is that it's cheaper. It's a great investment to buy one of these things and I'm going to explain why in this video. So the first thing to know, these RavCab USB readers are, I suspect, not that popular and I think more people should own one for the very simple reason that it's a great way to save money. So when you top up using the RavCav system. Now the RavCav system is a website on the internet and I'll put the link in the description, ravcav.co.il. They have a client you need to download in order to use your USB reader with it. It's available for Windows, Mac, and the coolest part, they even developed a client for Ubuntu Linux. So as a Linux user, really, really appreciate that. Um, but what I wanna say is that it is a way to effectively get free money. When you top up stored value of 200 shekels, about $50 using the RavCav system, whether you're using it on your computer or for your phone, on your phone, it's an application called RavCav, but the catch, or if you, it's not really a catch, but the caveat is that your phone needs to have NFC, uh, which is a near field contact reading technology in order to use this. In my experience, the NFC doesn't always work perfectly. Even if your phone does have NFC, sometimes it's a bit finicky, you need to hold it. That's why I prefer to just use a good old fashioned uh, piece of computer gear. So this is the uh, RavCav reader. I had a spare one that I just unboxed here. Now, the free credit that I uh, was going to mention and then my brain looped around. When you top up by 200 shackles currently using this system, whether it's on the internet or for your phone, they give you 250 shackles worth of stored value. In other words, they're giving you 50 shackles of free credit. Trust me, friends, it is not typical to get a free lunch anywhere in the world, but especially in Israel where stuff is expensive. Public transport's one of those things that's actually pretty affordable here. I have a car and I find stressful, uh, driving in Israel so stressful that I literally take public transport to avoid it and I actually really enjoy taking public transport in Israel. Maybe I'm in the minority. I find the train between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem very pleasant, very reliable. The bus network's pretty good. So I routinely put on a thousand shackles onto my RavCav. Uh, you can get your name on it if you're a tourist in Israel and a total noob here. Uh, you can go and get your RavCav customized and that means that your RavCav has a number and if it's lost, you don't need to worry about that credit being uh, going. The RavCav office and they have a, net a network of offices throughout the country, they will sort you out. One final deal and as a sort of techie, I have to mention this, right? Because I have this guy in its packaging, I was able to see what this is. RavCav are using something called the Jamalto ID Bridge CT30. And these are currently on sale at the RavCav offices. These are the USB readers you use for five shackles. At today's rate, five shackles translates to $1.45 in USD. Now guess how much these actually cost. If you were to go on Amazon and buy a Jamalto ID Bridge CT30, which is a uh, USB smart card reader that can write and read data onto uh, this whatever type of card the RavCav is, allowing you to charge it. $25. So by buying one of these little USB readers, you're getting yourself a $25 smart card reader for $1.50. Now, I don't think you can use it for anything but RavCav. It's probably uh, pre-programmed and all that, but you're getting a $25 piece of gear for $1.50. And every time you top up your RavCav by 200 shackles, they're giving you an extra 50 shackles. And by the way, I topped up my RavCav last week at the Haganah uh, train station in Tel Aviv using one of those self-service machines 
because my NFC wasn't working, they don't give you the 50 shackles free credit. You pay 200, you get 200. So if you're savvy and you're trying to maximize your uh, value for money, I highly recommend paying the five shackles, uh, going into a Ravcalf station, buying one of these things, and then top up by, if you top up by 800 shackles, four times 200, you're getting 250 times each, you're getting a thousand shekels, you're getting $50 worth of free public transport around Israel that can be used on buses, used on trains. So people are always looking for ways to save money in Israel. Sometimes there just aren't them, but one way you can definitely save money is by using public transport. I highly recommend buying one of these USB readers for, uh, for uh, five shackles. You don't need to worry about whether your smartphone has NFC. You can use it from any computer, your desktop, your mobile, whatever. I'm not getting commission from Ravcalf, I promise. I just think that in certain respects, Israel does really, really good tech. Thank you, the Ravcalf people, for developing Ubuntu clients so I can use it. And uh, get yourself one of these. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more videos.